We just moved house here in Amsterdam. I've lived in a lot of places, and this was the 28th time I've moved in my life, so I have some experience with it. Moving is always a pain, but moving house in Amsterdam is different than in other cities. It's incredibly efficient due to these moving elevators. But I'll get to that in a minute. This move came at a rather inopportune time for this YouTube channel. Before the move, my videos were getting a handful of views, mostly from people who shared them on Twitter or Reddit. Over the past few weeks, I've mostly been spending my free time packing boxes, painting walls. I knew I was going to miss my fortnightly video schedule, but that didn't really matter because hardly anybody would notice, right? I decided to take a break with a nice cup of tea and check out the latest comments on my budding YouTube channel and holy crap! If this graph looked any more like a hockey stick, Al Gore would show up with a cherry picker. I'm a Canadian though, so I like hockey sticks. <sighs> no, real hockey sticks. But there was one slight problem. YouTube mostly recommended the channel to Dutch people, and now over 75% of my viewers are from the Netherlands. That's not how this was supposed to work, people! This channel was supposed to let other people know why the Netherlands is so great, not for Dutch people to reaffirm their beliefs. The comments started getting impossible to keep up with, which is probably just as well, because about a third of them were just telling me I was an idiot for... whatever. <laughs> anyway, back to moving house. In most cities, if you live in an apartment building, you'll use the elevator, but if there's no elevator, you're going to be using the stairs. The problem with using the stairs is that, beyond it being very slow and laborious, it also bashes the crap out of your walls, which is a problem when you're moving out of somewhere you're renting. These photos show some of the damage done by the movers when we left one of our flats in London. Ultimately, it ended up being my job to fix it. And you've never done a real house move until you've tried to move up and down these narrow stairs in a typical British two-up, two-down terraced house. They don't really do moving elevators in London, but I assume they do in many other cities because I remember seeing them when we lived in Belgium. However, when we moved in and out of Brussels, the movers still use the stairs for some reason. Here in Amsterdam, they definitely seem to be the normal way of moving for just about everyone. I suspect they're common in other Dutch cities as well, but let me know in the comments. The elevator comes towed on the back of the moving truck, and the first thing the movers do is unhitch it and bring it up to your window. They can reach remarkably high, as you can see here. I assume any building higher than this would have an elevator. This is all possible because the buildings are built with large windows on the street side that are built to be removable. In our old house, it's done by removing these bolts and removing the cover at the side. The window pane can then be removed to make a huge opening for moving furniture. Amsterdam has a long history of moving this way. The old canal houses have hooks on them. These were used to make it easy to load and unload goods from the upper floors. It's also part of the reason why these buildings lean forward and for the famous gable architecture of these old houses. The hooks were used for several centuries. Here's the hook from our old house, built in the 1930s. It is very well reinforced, as it's designed to carry loads up to 400 kilograms. While the hooks are not often used anymore, their legacy means that just about every terraced house is built for moving in and out through the windows, which saves a hell of a lot of time. One person loads at the top, and another unloads at the bottom. Our whole move was done in about half the time as other cities, and with about half the number of movers as well. In many areas in Amsterdam, you are required to pre-book a parking spot for the moving van in front of your house, and the municipality puts up these signs a few days in advance. That's also really convenient, but it's not cheap. We were able to reserve the space in front of our house in Brussels too, but the last time we moved to Toronto, I had to block off our parking spot with garbage bins and hope for the best. It was also very convenient that our moving company lent us moving boxes, packing tape, and a tape gun. I've been told by some Dutch friends that this was a bit unusual and might mean we paid too much. But I will say that a good tape gun makes packing boxes so much easier. Plus the movers did a good job, so we're happy. We're mostly moved in now, which is why I was able to find the time to make this video, though there are still a bunch of boxes left to unpack. With most of the move behind me, I'm hopefully able to get back to the more interesting videos about Dutch street design and urban planning, so stay tuned. But if you made it this far, you must really like uninteresting content. So if that's the case, I've got something special, just for you. Since you obviously like boring videos, here's 10 minutes of watching paint dry.
What is wrong with you? Why are you still watching this?